hello welcome to this lesson of our study of you know pde and today we are supposed to go through how to solve the wave function using the um or wave equation using the d'alembert formula or d'alembert solution okay so we have um, a wave equation here and before that i would urge you that if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe for more videos and if you have subscribed to thank you and like my video comment and also you know share to others to benefit as well all right let's start so we have the wave equation here utt that you're supposed to solve the initial value problem utt equals c squared usx subjected to the condition ux is zero or u of x is comma zero equals e to the x squared or sorry minus x squared and ut of s comma zero is equal to cos squared of x now the hint you are supposed to do here is that we are supposed to use the d'alembert solution okay he has a way of solving such a problem and that we just borrow that idea and then go okay so there is the question given u s u t t equals e squared u s s and that this is the general form of the d'alembert solution okay so if you have u t t equals c squared u s x subjected to the condition u of x comma zero or u of s comma zero yes equals f of x some f of x and u t comma or u t of s comma zero of some g of x then the solution is given by from d'alembert he's saying that the solution is given by u of s comma zero sorry s comma t rather u of s comma t is equal to half multiplying this whole expression f of x plus ct plus f of x minus ct or plus 1 over 2c multiplying x minus ct sorry the integral of g of tau d tau from x minus ct to x plus ct some books will use g of s ds now you can actually put the g of x there you can put this and integrate with respect to x if you, it won't confuse you but the reason why we change it to a different variable is we have the x in its limits that is why we just changed it okay so you can use any other variable you can use g of lambda the, the lambda or g of whatever you want to use but here i stick to g of tau d tau okay now let's go to the question now the question given here is utt in the question is given as utt is equal to c squared uss this implies that our c comparing this to the rambes solution here this c here is supposed to be compared to the question's own c okay i hope you get this so this question here the c here is still c the c squared here is so if we have something like utt equal let's say three u x x then we have to compare this three to the c squared in the the lambert equation okay or the lambert solution that our c squared should be equal to three and that our c will be equal to square root of three and that will be this okay so it will be just plus or minus so one of them will just be plus and that the other will be that so our c would have been square root of three then we use this okay i hope you get the, the point so that is what i mean but in this question the c was still maintained as c squared so we just have to say that our c here in the in the lambert solution our c here in the lambert solution is still be the c okay because it didn't change it's still given us c now our f of x here is giving us sorry our f of s here is giving us e to the power minus s squared and our g of x is giving us that i hope you understand so now to do with we said the lambert says that if we have such condition or such scenario then the solution is simply giving us u of x t equals half into f of x plus c t plus f of x minus c t then plus one over two c integral from my x minus c t to s plus c t of g of tau tau okay so first of all we have two terms here in the solution we have 
the term that involves the f and the term that involves this so let's pick the first term which is the half into f of x plus ct plus f of x minus ct and simplify that and put it there then you come and pick the integral part and also solve them at the end of the day we add them okay so that we don't confuse ourselves now f of x is giving us e to the power minus s squared okay and i'll see here in the question is still c so meaning that our f of x plus ct will then be equal to e to the minus x plus ct squared and then our f of x minus ct will then be equal to e to the minus x plus sorry s minus ct rather squared because f of s every f of x is giving us e to the power the same e to the power minus of the same s squared okay so f of this x plus ct will then be e to the power minus here the whole of this term would then tend to be our x okay and put it there i hope you understand and the same thing will happen to this one this one too as well so that is what that is what we have and that we can continue and expand or simplify our f of x plus ct which is e to the minus into x squared plus 2 x c t plus c squared c squared now i just expanded the bracket here you can go ahead and do it your way okay and this whole thing will be equal to e to the minus s squared dot e to the minus 2 x c t dot e to the minus c squared t squared now the reason is this whole thing can be simplified as minus s squared minus 2x ct then minus c squared c squared the minus is multiplying everything and now since it's exponential is e to the power something then i can write the same base raising to the power each term but remember there's a minus here so every term i pick i have to negate it like that i hope you understand now let's do the same thing to the f of x minus ct which is equal to e to the minus now the square here we just we are just squaring this okay so when you square that you have s squared then minus okay s squared minus 2 x ct then plus c squared t squared and this will then give me e to the minus s squared dot e to the 2 x c t the reason is when i negate this here it will be just positive then dot e to the minus c squared t squared so the first part of the, the lambert solution which has half into f of x plus c t plus f of x minus c t would then be equal to half into now s f of x plus c t gave us this whole thing okay i have to just put it there and that is um e to the minus s squared dot e to the minus two x c t dot e to the minus c squared t squared then plus the last and the last term that is this term gave us e to the minus s squared dot e to the two x c t dot e to the minus c squared t squared okay now the reason why i expanded is because you realize that this term and this term are the same also this term and this term are also the same so we can factor those terms out okay so we can go ahead and do it and say that our first part of the, the lambert solution which is this plus f of x minus ct would then be equal to half into now I'm, fact I'm factoring some terms out let me see i said i'll factor this term out because this and this are the same but remember there's a plus here and also this and this are the same so i just factor those term those two terms of out e to the minus s squared dot e to the minus c squared t squared okay and then here we'll be left with this part and here to be left with this part they are the same just that the power is here this is minus this is positive so they are not the same that's why i want you to know 
so i have minus s squared dot e to the minus c squared t squared then into the first part to give us e to the minus 2x c t plus e to the 2x c t i believe that is what we have okay so this would then be equal to half then here they, they are the same they have the same base so i have to take one base then minus c squared t squared into i'm just rewriting them again ct plus e to the minus 2x ct now you can see that i've not changed anything i just interchange their positions and they are the same now this will be equal to e to the minus s squared plus c squared t squared i hope you understand this okay that is the same thing as this now the half i want to multiply the half here okay then e to the 2x c t plus e to the minus 2x c t so this whole thing will give me e to the minus into s squared plus c squared t squared multiplying e to the 2xct plus e to the power minus 2xct all over 2. And remember, recall that if you have e to the x or y or something, let's say x, or let me use y because I don't want to confuse you, plus e to the minus y over 2, this is the same as cos of y. Now I realize that this is the same thing happening in this bracket because we have the whole of this thing as let's say r y and its negative is this. Okay, so we have the positive and negative and we have the divided by two there. Okay. So let me just clean this and say that our first part of the D'Alembert solution will simplify to e to the minus into s squared plus c squared t squared then cosh of 2xct that's the first part i hope you're okay now and now the second part deals with the integration okay so keep this one and we have to go and do the integration the second part is sorry um whoa i don't want the white background i want the black one Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Alright, so let me just rewrite it. It's two C integral X minus C T X plus C T then G of tau the tau. Now remember our G of X was equal to cos squared X. Meaning that our G of tau would then be just changing the variable. We have cos squared tau. Okay so now the second part is simply 1 over 2c integral from x minus ct s plus ct then g of tau is simply cos squared tau d tau okay to integrate this i have to just change uh, my cos square something to a linear form to be able to integrate and that is half plus cos 2t or 2 tau over 2 d tau so the thing is you can write it as 1 plus cos 2 tau all over 2 or you can write them in separate terms like this okay now this is giving us 1 over 2c into integral of or integral from this to that okay then half d tau plus integral x minus ct x plus ct that is of course 2 tau over 2 d tau okay now since we have linear forms like this we can go ahead and do our integration 1 over 2c into we integrate this we have half um let me see we have half tau okay then from x minus ct to x plus ct 
I hope you understand this. And uh, the other one is an integrate cos 2 tau. I'll have 1 over 2 times sine 2 tau. But there is already a 2 down here. That is a 1 over 2 already here. So we'll have 1 over 4 sine of sine of 2 tau. Then from x minus ct to x plus ct. So remember everything is 1 over 2c multiplying that, okay? Now I hope you understand what I'm doing here because um, the integration in the course, I hope you understand, is the we already have this and we are integrating. Or you can write it as cos 2 tau over 2, the same thing. When I integrate the cos 2, so when I integrate, the half will actually come out and still we get left with integral of that okay integral of course two tau and that will give me half into the integral of course two tau is one over two sine two tau remember you are doing everything with respect to tau so in effect the one over two was by the another one over two so we have one over four sine of that so that's how, how come you get you go what you have here okay i hope you understand now let's move ahead and go through our simplifications and see we want to know how to get it. okay so this is what we have now I have one over two c into half then when i put x plus ct here minus x minus ct okay then plus i don't want to go through this i, I just want to do the first one first sine of two tau then x minus ct to x plus ct okay and this will definitely give me one over two c when i simplify the bracket here i'll have into one over two multiplying x plus ct minus x plus ct i hope you understand this now plus half into sine of two t two tau rather x minus ct x plus ct i hope you understand this so we'll go ahead and simplify we have 1 over 2c multiplying 1 over 2 times 2ct is it true yes we got this we'll cancel this so i'll be, I'll be left with ct plus c to have 2ct then plus 1 over 4 multiplying, um, how do I call it, sine of 2 tau from x minus. So I'm, 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 I'm coming to simplify the tau here. I just want to do the first part first, okay? Because if I'm supposed to do that one inclusive, that will be very, very tedious for us to work with. So we have 1 over 2c multiplying. This will take this out ct plus 1 over 4 into into sine of x plus or 2 into 2x plus 2ct okay so 2 is multiplying everything and minus sine of 2x minus 2ct okay Now I can multiply the one over two c through this one, and I'll have t over two, okay, plus one over eight c because one over two c multiplying one over four give me one over eight c, okay. Multiplying sine of two x plus two c t minus sine of two x minus two c t. Now let's go ahead and simplify this bracket and come and put it back, okay? So realize that um let me let me write it sine of two x plus two c t is it minus minus sine of two x minus two c t. That's what we had, right? So sine of a plus b let's use that so sine of this a plus b giving us sine a cos b plus no 
sine b cos a so we have sine of 2x cos of 2ct plus for the first term plus sine of 2ct cos of 2x now you go back to this term this term you have a minus so minus sine of 2x cos of 2ct then minus since it's minus it's just minus that's for sine we have sine of 2ct cos of 2x now in effect we have sine of 2x cos of 2ct plus sine of 2ct cos of 2x remember we have minus everything so we have minus sine of 2x cos of 2ct plus okay the minus will just cancel that and we have plus sine of 2ct cos of 2x so we have this taking this out so in effect you have 2 sine of 2ct cos of 2x so in effect that is what we have 2 sine of 2ct cos of 2s so just come back and put it here so we have everything to be t over 2 okay t over 2 plus 1 over 8c times 2 sine of 2ct cos of 2x so that this will go here 1 and goes here 4 so the second part of the d'Alembert's equation or d'Alembert's formula is giving us t over 2 plus 1 over 4 c then sine of 2 c t or yes is it 2 c t yes and cos of 2 x this is the solution to that so this is the second part that is the integration part x minus c t s plus c t g of tau d tau so this is what we have for the integration part so the whole solution u of x comma t is the first part which is um, this one plus the second part okay so the whole solution let me just write it here u of x t is equal to e to the minus s squared plus c squared t squared and cosh let me write my cosh where cosh of 2xt then plus t over 2 plus of 1 over 4 c sine of 2ct cos of 2x so in effect this is equal to t over 2 plus 1 over 4 c sine of 2ct cos of cos of 2x okay and plus e to the minus s squared or let me bring it down so that they they will move together okay plus e to the minus into s squared plus c squared t squared then cos of 2xct so that is the solution to our wave equation or wave problem okay so i hope you understood everything i want you to take your time then you can take them one after the other simplify them then understand okay all right so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed if you have subscribed thank you like my video, comment, and also share to others to benefit as well. See you next time.